Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I have been doing some cleanup. I needed to do some revisions to my studio. As you can see, I have this fancy background going on. Um, and I got a little preoccupied with some school. I also got a little preoccupied with some just random text purchases that I had to go about. Um, these tech purchases are items such as um, printers, um, keyboards, mice, and I'll go into that in a minute. But the point here is, you know, we're home, you know, we want to do things that we enjoy and we need to make time for ourselves. Um, a lot of us have families. A lot of us, you know, have a lot of things going on in our lives. You know, with the pandemic, we might be working from home. We might have a little bit of extra time on our hands or we might actually be struggling because working from home is, is actually not as easy as a lot of people think it is. Um, it, it For a lot of people, it, it, it is causing a bit of an, an anxiety situation. Um, but with that said, you have to make the most of it. And in my case, I have been going to a lot of brick and mortar stores, of course, not during work hours. But during the time that I have where I can, you know, relax, um, browse around and, and look at a couple of items that interest me. Um, I need to add a few desk items, which I would thought would, you know, spruce up the look of my uh, home office. Um, and one of the places that I prefer to go to is TJ Maxx. And the reason I like TJ Maxx is because they have a selection of items that I, I'm assuming comes from um, more top name brand places, but brought down to these particular stores at an extreme discounted rate. Now I'm able to get like table desktop items for a fraction of the cost. Um, I needed um, table risers to put items on kind of little shelves. Um, I also bought a little desk plant. Um, I had one before, but I got a new one, which I think looks a lot better. Um, I have this little device, um, not really a device, but kind of a little glass object that has kind of a floating type of stuff in it. Not sure how to describe it, but I'll, I'll, I'll certainly, if I can, put an, an image of that. Um, and also, surprisingly, the tech in me was able to get a couple items. I went to Staples and I bought a P-Touch. <clears throat> And this particular TP touch allows you to control the device. It has no onboard screen. Um, it has very few buttons on the actual device itself. You have to control it strictly through an app. Um, in this case, I think it's called the P touch cube. And I'll definitely put a link to, to, to that item. What that allows you to do is um, it allows you to choose the type of graphics, the type of text, that you want to display or rather print onto the actual label itself. So it's not that much different than your traditional P touch, but it does give you a little more flexibility. I don't know if you've ever used a P touch or if it's not one of the most important devices in your life, because for me it is. Um, but when you want to organize, I, I just, I label everything. Um, I have many, many, many tech devices, many different power cords, many different things plugged in, um, multiple network printers, power cords for cameras, monitors, you name it. You print a little label and kind of label every item. Man, it is a world of difference. Let me tell you. Um, I have power cables where a lot of the manufacturers, unfortunately, do not brand them. They get just these generic power cords. And instead of me matching power wattage, um, because a lot of these power cords do match up in terms of the fit for the, the actual hole itself, you don't want to put the wrong power into the wrong device um, or the wrong power cord, rather, because that could potentially destroy it. So I label everything. You know, my scooter, it's very important. I don't want to overload that battery or put something on it that doesn't provide sufficient power and cause some type of shortage. So I put a label on that. And that has been just a, 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 a lifesaver for me. Um, some of the other things I bought was I bought a, an upgraded um, boogie board. Now, if you're not familiar with boogie boards, I will certainly show you what that looks like. But that is a device that uses essentially a really basic screen where you kind of write on and it's kind of a transparent screen and it allows you to put um, 
different types of paper behind this transparent overlay of a screen. Uh, this particular upgraded unit, unit over the one that I had previously allows you to erase. Um, but the premise of these devices is you write on it and it's a really simple button you press and it clears everything on the screen. For a lot of people, that's probably not convenient. You bump into that little button, everything you've written is just completely gone. Um, for me, it replaces sticky notes, which obviously can become a mess for a lot of people by allowing you to have a larger surface. The one I bought was about eight and a half by 11, which is sufficient for daily notes. Um, there also is a companion app for both iOS and Android that allows you to scan all of the, um, the notations you've taken on this particular device. But for me, you have the option on this particular upgrade to lock all the notes so someone doesn't inadvertently just clear everything off the screen. And it does give you the ability to now, um, with the uh, included um, pin, to erase. And that is just a, a wonderful thing for me. It's a simple device. I got it from Staples for about 23 bucks. I think it was on sale because that particular store was going out of business. And it, it was a wonderful thing for me. Um, so if you're sitting at home like I am, and you are bored sometimes, and you want to figure out a way to spend your time, just start figuring out what you need to upgrade. Look around, you know, look and talk to other people. When you go to other people's houses, which you shouldn't do too much of, unless you're vaccinated, they're vaccinated, and you're still socially distancing, um, just kind of see what they have. Just talk to people, figure out what tech they're playing with. You know, I love talking to people. People ask me, what type of phone do you have? People ask me, um, what type of computer do you have? You know, I give a lot of computer advice. You know, people ask me what kind of keyboard, what kind of mice, what kind of microphone I use, how do I record, what type of lighting do I use? I have a lot of equipment and I try my best to make the best recommendations that I can. And even for a lot of people that aren't necessarily going to spend the type of money that I may be willing to spend for my obsession, um, they're more than willing to spend money in general, or I can recommend something that is more suitable for their budget. Um, and you know, for a lot of you out there, you'd be surprised what you can recommend. You know, you might be in the kitchen and say, Hey, listen, I have an advice for a, a particular knife set that might be more convenient that stays sharp. I don't know. I'm just throwing out examples. I'm a tech person. I can tell you all about tech. I can tell you about a smart device. I can tell you about smart lights, you know, a smart thermostat. I can tell you about smart plugs. I can give you all kinds of recommendations. You know, you might be sitting at home frustrated with your current router. You know, we're up to internet, you know, speeds where a lot of devices promote the the networking devices or these uh, these new um, hotspots or routers with uh, Wi-Fi 6. And that's the new standard. I'm not going to go into details of what that means, but, you know, nowadays this might be the time to upgrade. You know, you might need to upgrade both your router for that added speed. You know, you don't want to go to a store and buy the cheapest thing that you can buy. You know, you might be um, tempted to say, hey, why get that router that costs $180 when I could just get the one that costs $29.99? There is a big difference and there is a reason for it. And you, you will notice that difference when you plug that thing up at home and you have your iPad connected or your Android device or your iPhone or your laptop or your, your Wi-Fi enabled garage door opener, or if you have smart appliances, smart refrigerators, all these devices start hogging bandwidth. Now you might have a really good service provider. You might have a top tier Verizon Fios package, or you might have a top tier, you know, package through any of these cable providers. Um, but the bottleneck will be that router. So you want to invest in that. Not saying you need to spend two hundred dollars for it, but you know, depending on what you do, if you do gaming, you know, you you need to look into these items and figure out what you actually need, or speak to someone who knows what they're talking about. I'm more than willing to help and speak to anyone. You know, what a lot of people don't realize is, just talk to people, find out what they what they're good at. You know, not everybody knows everything about tech, but these are the opportunities now with time on our hands where we can go into a store like Best Buy, or you know staples and just speak to some of the people that may have some experience not not everybody's experience not not because they work at a store that sells tech they know everything about tech but try them out just ask questions see what they know just pick everybody's brain we can enjoy ourselves and sit back and and set an environment that's comfortable for us if we just be proactive and and try to 
understand what it is that we want to do. For me, tech makes me happy. You'd be surprised. A lot of technology, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not, an, I'm not super young anymore, but tech is a very convenient part of my life, and it, it is what keeps me going. So, with all that said, um, thank you for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and please, when you have a chance, hit the like button, subscribe, continue watching. I hope you come back for more content.